हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो द नीट इज वेरी वेरी क्लोज सो इट्स वेरी वेरी नियर सो वी हैव टू स्टडी फॉर द नीट एंड नाउ द टाइम ऑफ रीडिंग थ्योरी हैज बीन गॉन एंड मैक्सिमम वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन सो टुडे आई एम अपलोडिंग वन वीडियो ऑन कैंसर ओके कैंसर और वी कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज वॉट न्यू प्लाजम so first of all it is the most deadly non communicable disease it is what most dangerous non infectious disease okay and it is the major cause of death so in india majority of people majority of cancer patient die and some able to survive now for the neat what kind of question will be come and how they will uh, you have to study that all things so first i am giving some introduction regarding the cancer okay so the first thing regarding the cancer is first we should know that the cell growth and differentiation अच्छा सेल ग्रोथ आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू नो बट व्हाट इज मीन बाय सेल डिफरेंशिएशन सेल डिफरेंशिएशन मींस व्हाट चेंजिंग ऑफ एनी वन टाइप ऑफ सेल टू अदर टाइप ऑफ सेल है ना कन्वर्जन ऑफ सेल कन्वर्जन ऑफ सेल फ्रॉम वन टाइप टू अदर टाइप इफ द नॉर्मल सेल्स is converting into some other type of cell hai na for example fibroblast cell which is a component of areolar connective tissue if it convert into osteocyte that is called as what differentiation so cell growth and cell differentiation in human body in human body is highly controlled and regulated okay so cell growth and differentiation in human body is highly controlled and regulated the meaning of this is what suppose if there is a one cell is there okay the one cell will divide into maximum number of two cells one cell will divide into maximum how many cells two two daughter cells hai na 2n equal to 46 diploid cell and it is also what 2n equal to 46 2n equal to 46 by the process called as what mitosis okay so one cell maximally divide can be divided into what two cell but one cell is there in the entire body that can divide into four cell by the process called as meiosis that is what gonad cell or germ cell hai na spermatogonia in male oogonia in female okay so in the uh, in our human body from top to bottom and bottom to top all cells will do the mitosis cell division only but only except one cell that is what gonad cell gonad means testes and ovary hai na that is germ cells spermatogonia and oogonia in female they are only doing the meiosis cell division okay now one thing is there suppose if these are the two cells which are in contact with what each other this is the cell number 1 and this one is what cell number 2 okay so cell number 1 and cell number 2 both are in contact with each other so this contact prevent this both of cell to divide into more than two cell here i have told that one cell can maximally divide into what two cells suppose if this cell number one uh, cell number 1 want to divide into more than two cells okay so in that case here one cell is forming here what another cell is forming from cell number 1 but if cell number 1 want to divide into more than two cell it will be not allowed who is stopping this cell number 1 to not to divide into more than two cell the contact with what cell number 2 so, okay so because of this contact only the cell number 2 can also be maximally divide into what two cells only if the cell number 2 want to divide into more than two cell it is not possible who is stopping that this contact okay this process is called as contact inhibition 
okay so uh, contact inhibition is what property of human body cells by virtue of which by virtue of which contact their contact with other cell their contact with other cell inhibits their division into more than two cell into more than two cells okay this is called as what contact inhibition because of contact with some other cell that cell can't be divided into more than two cell and right? and this contact is what stopping both of these cell to not to divide into more than two cells okay but there are some suppose one abnormal cell called as what cancer cell okay the cancer cells lost property of what contact inhibition the cancer cell lost this property okay so what will happen suppose this cell number 2 become what cancerous then what will happen it will not obey contact inhibition phenomena and this contact can't able to stop this cell number 2 as a result what will happen cell number 2 will divide abnormally into many number of cells clear so what will happen as a result due to this cancer cells divides abnormally due to this cancer cells divide abnormally and forms mass of cells called as what tumor okay so cancer cells divide abnormally and form mass of cells called as tumor so here what is happening suppose from the cell number 2 1 2 3 4 5 cell has been formed now this five cell each cell will again divide into what five five cells they will again divide into five five cells like that uncontrolled or abnormal cell division will take place which leads to what formation of mass of cells called as what tumor this is what tumor okay now the tumor are of two types there are two types of tumors are there first is benign tumor and second one is what malignant tumor so there are the two types of tumors are there benign tumor and malignant tumor this malignant tumor is only called as what cancer benign tumor is not called as cancer hai na not called cancer okay so why what is the difference between these two type of tumor let's see so here okay first here we will talk about benign tumor and here i will talk about malignant tumor okay so in this benign tumor first of all okay let's see let's talk about the benign tumor now in this benign tumor actually it cause little damage and one more thing about the benign tumor is what it remain confined to its original location okay it remains 
confined to its original location and not spread not spread to other body parts so benign tumor remain confined to its original location and it's it is not spreading to other body parts okay so actually why it is not spreading to the other body part why because the stickiness between the cells of tumor is very high hai na stickiness between cells of tumor is what high okay and one more reason is there that the tumor is covered by a thin sheath of connective tissue tumor is covered by thin sheath of connective tissue so because of this two reason hai na because of these two reasons the tumor uh, the cell, uh, cells of the tumor not detached from their main tumor hai na cells of tumor not detach from what main tumor okay and hence it not spread into the other body parts okay and it can be surgically removed so benign tumor is what we can remove the benign tumor what surgically removed okay so these are all are the properties of what benign tumor and why it is not spreading to the other part of the body that also i have explained here okay next we are going to talk about what malignant tumor okay so malignant tumor is what it is a mass of proliferating cell mass of poly proliferating cells so malignant tumor is what mass of proliferating cells called tumor cells or cancer cells or neoplastic cells cancer cells tumor cells or what neoplastic cells so these are the three names are there so mass of proliferating cell proliferation means what that continuously growing or multiplying hai na that kind of cell is called as what proliferating cell so malignant tumor is what it is the mass of proliferating cell which multiply or divide rapidly multiply or divide rapidly okay invade and damage surrounding normal tissues surrounding normal tissues okay so neoplastic cells so these are the mass of proliferating cells which multiply and divide very rapidly invade and damage surrounding normal tissues as well as cells and one more thing they compete for nutrition they compete for nutrition with normal cells as cancer cells are rapidly dividing so this third point leads to what star leads to starvation leads to what starvation of normal cells so as the cancer cells are dividing rapidly okay cancer cells are dividing rapidly so what will happen 
they will suck all the nutrition whatever the person is eating the food all the nutrition will go to what cancer cell and as a result the normal cells of the body can't able to get the proper nutrition hai na all okay so suppose these are green color are what cancer cells so whatever nutrition is coming they it will be sucked by what this cancer cell why because they will say that we are dividing rapidly we require more food and these normal cells are not getting any kind of nutrition as a result what happen they undergo what starvation okay so they compete competition is taking place between the cancer cell and what normal cell okay and regarding the benign tumor i have told you suppose the benign tumor is what mass of cell covered by a sheath hai na and it is not spreading into the other part of the body so regarding the malignant tumor hai na this all are the points multiply divide rapidly invade and damage surrounding normal tissue they compete for the nutrition with the normal cells as cancer cells are rapidly dividing hai na and this leads to what starvation of normal cells now what happen fourth point regarding the malignant tumor is this malignant tumor the stickiness between the cells is very very poor stickiness between cells of tumor is very poor and tumor is not covered by any sheath of connective tissue tumor is not covered by sheath of connective tissue so due to this what happen the cancer cell detach from the tumor okay cancer cells detach from tumor and travel in body through through blood and lymph and wherever they stop and in whichever organ they stop they starts forming they starts forming new tumor in that organ okay this most feared property this most feared property of malignant tumor is called metastasis okay this most feared property of malignant tumor is called metastasis so what happen suppose this are the bunch of cancer cells now the stickiness between these cells is very very poor and the cells detach from the main tumor and through the blood and lymph they travel to the entire body and wherever they will get lodged or wherever they will get stopped there that start forming what a new tumor so in this way malignant tumor is spreading into different different organs okay and this most feared property of malignant tumor is called as what metastasis please keep in mind from here question can be asked in the neat okay so here in this lecture i am giving you point to point that notes only from where 100% guarantee is there of coming the question okay so this is all regarding the malignant and benign tumor i hope you understand this point okay next we are going to talk about what is the cause of cancer we will talk about the cause of cancer why cancer is causing okay so why cancer is causing so for that we should know The, we should have the idea about carcinogens carcinogens are what cancer causing agents okay or ca cancer causing substance are called as what carcinogens now these carcinogens are of three types there are the three types of carcinogens are there 
फर्स्ट इज द फिजिकल सेकेंड इज वॉट केमिकल एंड थर्ड इज वॉट बायोलॉजिकल सो फिजिकल कार्सिनोजेन केमिकल कार्सिनोजेन एंड बायोलॉजिकल कार्सिनोजेन दीज आर द्री टाइप्स ऑफ कार्सिनोजेन आर देयर सो फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट दिस फिजिकल कार्सिनोजेन ओके सो फिजिकल फिजिकल कार्सिनोजेन नाउ अंडर दिस फिजिकल कार्सिनोजेन वॉट विल कम रेडिएशन ओके रेडिएशन कॉज डीएनए डैमेज कॉज डैमेज टू डीएनए एंड लीड्स टू नियोप्लास्टिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन of normal cells, okay, that is called as what radiations, है ना? It causes damage to the DNA and leads to the neoplastic transformation. Means uh, cancer cell transformation of what normal cells. Now the radiations are of the radiations are of how many types? There are the two types of radiations are there. Okay, first is what ionizing radiation. under ionizing radiation what will come x rays and gamma rays okay x rays and gamma rays will come under what ionizing radiation second will be what non ionizing radiation under non ionizing radiation it will come ultraviolet rays uv rays will come under what non ionizing radiation so i think all of you know what is meant by ionizing ionizing means what if this is the atom this is the nucleus this is the first shell this is the second shell okay this is what middle this is nucleus and in this shell electrons are there let's take the example of nitrogen nitrogen is having how many electrons seven because the atomic number of nitrogen is what seven so in the innermost orbital there will be what two electron and outermost orbital there will be what five electrons are there okay now if i want to take out this electron for that i have to apply energy and that energy will be called as what ionizing energy why because if i will take out this electron it will no more remain atom it will be converted into what ion suppose <coughs> nitrogen minus one electron okay so it will become what n negative sorry uh, uh, nitrogen we are, we are taking it out now it will become what n positive hai na one electron we have taken out from the nitrogen so this become ion and this was what atom so after removal of electron the atom will convert into ion and for removing the electron we need to apply some energy that is called as what ionizing energy if i want to take out this electron it will be very difficult i have to apply what more ionizing energy because it is near to the nucleus and uh, electrostatic force of attraction will be high here okay so those radiations which on bombarding on what any atom remove its electron will be called as what ionizing radiation so these are the two physical carcinogens uh, listed here and this is the major cause of skin cancer okay this completed next we are going to talk about chemical chemical carcinogen under the chemical carcinogen in tobacco smoke in tobacco smoke there is one polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon is there poly cyclic aromatic hydrocarbon is there the name of this polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon is benzopyrene is what benzopyrene so tobacco smoke contains one chemical called as what benzopyrene and benzopyrene is responsible for lung cancer okay 
so benzopyrin is responsible for lung cancer this is all about what chemical carcinogen now after that next we are going to talk about what biological next we will talk about biological carcinogen now there are some virus cancer causing virus are there cancer causing virus called as onco virus the cancer causing virus are called as what onco virus this virus contains cancer causing genes okay contains cancer causing genes called viral oncogene called as what viral oncogene okay so example of some oncovirus i will tell you okay so htlv human t cell leukemia virus okay adenovirus it causes adenocarcinoma means cancer of glandular epithelial cells cancer of glandular epithelium okay third is hepatitis b virus it will cause liver cancer fourth epstein barr virus okay it causes nasopharyngeal carcinoma naso pharyngeal carcinoma and burkitt lymphoma burkitt lymphoma okay so epstein barr virus is causing so this all are what onco virus now the second type of biological carcinogens are called as cellular oncogens or proto oncogens proto oncogens or cellular oncogens okay also called as what c onc cellular oncogen okay so these are some inactivated genes found in the normal cells okay inactive cancer causing genes found in normal cells when they become active when they become what active then then they cause what cancer okay so these are the two biological carcinogen proto oncogen and what oncovirus okay this one is the first one so these are the causes of what cancer so there are the many causes are there and some causes are still not known okay so this completed causes next we are going to talk about diagnosis of cancer okay so diagnosis of cancer i will upload in the next video till that stay tuned and please like subscribe and share for the preparation of the neat because in my youtube channel you will get point to point what is going to come in the neat no extra thing i am teaching to the students so thank you very much have a nice day